MCAT 2017 CRAM, Biochemical and Biological Foundations of Living Systems. Passage 16, The Underlying Mechanism of Milk Allergies. As you view the reading of the passage, you'll notice some highlighted snippets of text. What I want you to do is garner meaning from these specific selections in order to answer the questions that follow. The passage is manageable and so are the questions. So good luck and happy reading. Paragraph one, when it comes to the ability to drink milk, we have at least three types of individuals, people who can tolerate it and consume it without reaction, those who cannot consume milk because they lack enzymes for digestion of dairy products, and finally, people whose white blood cells develop an immune response to milk. Many scientists are intrigued by the molecular causes of reactions to milk. Among the proteins found in milk, the beta-lactoglobulin protein, BOS D5, is known to help activate T lymphocytes. BOS D5 belongs to the lipocalin family, a group of proteins with molecular pockets called siderophores. The siderophores of BOS D5 specifically are able to bind with iron complexes. Thus, BOS D5 can be found in two forms an apostate without an iron siderophore and a holostate with an iron, an iron siderophore. Paragraph two, scientists wanted to test the immune modulatory properties of BOSC5 in either form to see if that was linked with milk allergies. Under controlled lab conditions, scientists were able to isolate the apo and holo forms of BOSC5. Paragraph three, scientists proceeded to perform an experiment in which the white blood cells of 25 patients were exposed to three treatments. One, exposure to four bowl, 12, myrostate, 12, myrostate 13 acetate, PMA for short, a compound that assists in T cell activation, Two, exposure to PMA and ApoBOS D5, or three, exposure to PMA and HoloBOS D5. To guarantee that only T lymphocytes were sampled, scientists searched for cells that contain the cell differentiation factor three, CD3, typical of T cells, and then examined the activation of the two major subpopulation of T cells, CD4 and CD8. This can be seen in figure one. Figure one, percentage of activated CD3 plus CD4 cells and CD3 plus CD8 cells after exposure to PMA, PMA plus ApoBOS D5 and HoloBOS D5. Bars indicate statistical comparison. Ends of each bar are placed over groups being compared. Statistical significance is indicated as follows. P is less than 0 0.1. P is less than 0 0.0001. And NS is not significant. Okay. What can researchers conclude about the effect of different forms of BOS D5 on specific T cell subpopulations? A. Holo BOS D5 causes a reaction in cytotoxic T cells. B. Apo BOS D5 causes a reaction in cytotoxic T cells. C. HoloBOS D5 causes a reaction in helper T cells, or D, ApoBOS D5 causes a reaction in helper T cells. I'll give you a moment to decide.
Okay, so cell differentiation factor 4 and 8 are typical helper in cytotoxic T cells respectively, but only the um, CD4 cells showed a differential activation rate. So ApoBOS D5 caused the highest activation of CD4 plus. Okay, thus ApoBOS D5 causes a reaction in helper T cells. Okay, all right. Which branch of the immune response is initially activated in milk allergies? Is it A, humoral immunity, B, cell-mediated medi immunity, C, inflammatory response, or D, innate defenses? I'll give you a moment to decide. All right. Okay, so I definitely recommend that you have um, a copy of the chart handy because it's really faint, so sometimes it may be hard to, you know, deduce what's going on on screen, okay? So try to print out a copy. The experiment did not involve any inflammatory cells, okay? The experiment used only... Um, the cells of adapted, adapted defenses. Um, the experiment did not use B cells of humoral immunity, so this is out as well. So A is out, uh, C is out. Thus, the correct answer is going to be cell-mediated immunity because ApoBOS D5 reacts with T cells, okay? So that's the big giveaway. In the case of milk allergies, which compounds are considered to be the antigen and epitope? Is it A, siderophore, and ApoBOS D5 respectively? B, BOS D5 and siderophore loaded with iron respectively? C, siderophore and holobos D5 respectively? or D, BOS D5 and Sidera 4 lacking iron, respectively. I'll give you a moment to decide. Okay. All right, let's define some terms, okay? Antigens are any substance that provokes an immune reaction, whereas epitopes, also known as an antigen um, determinant, these are specific parts of the antigen that are recognized by immune cells. The experiment shows that BOSC5 has an antigenic function, but only when the epitope, epitope so therefore, is not bound um, with iron. Okay. Thus, BOSC5 is and so therefore, lacking iron are the antigen and epitope, respectively. Okay? Which branch or branches of the immune response are likely to suffer if the activation of naive CD4 plus cells is impaired? Is it going to be A, cell-mediated response, B, all branches of the immune response, C, innate response, or D, humoral mediated response. I'll give you a moment to decide. All right. Okay, so um, naive CD4 plus cells differentiate into helper T cells. Cytotoxic T cells and B cells depend on co-stimulation with um, these helper T cells. 
So helper T cells also release chemicals that affect the innate response. Thus, all branches of the immune response suffer if CD4 plus cells are not being activated. All right. What is the difference between milk allergy and milk intolerance? A, allergy is when CD4 cells respond to milk. Intolerance is when individuals lack lactase. B, intolerance is when CD4 cells respond to milk. Allergy is when individuals lack lactase. C, intolerance is when CD8 cells respond to milk. Allergy is when individuals lack lactase. Or D, allergy is when CD4-8 cells respond to milk. Intolerance is when individuals lack lactase. I'll give you a moment to decide. All right. Okay, so let's define some terms, okay? Intolerance occurs when individuals lack the lactase enzyme. So answer choice B is out as well as answer choice C. And an allergy occurs when lymphocytes are activated. Uh, figure one shows that only CD4 cells were uh, activated by milk proteins. Thus, um, allergy is when CD4 cells respond to milk. Intolerance is when individuals lack lactase. All right? Okay.